Hello wonderful humans and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing well and thank you for clicking on today's video. So today I am feeling pretty grumpy. I'm having a lot of pain still and it's just, I'm feeling really grumpy and like in one of those moods. But I thought it would be fun to try to try these sticker stencils that Lee got me from I think got them on Amazon because like holy cow you can do a lot of different shapes so I'm gonna try these I'm gonna do two different looks because I'm just hanging out on my sofa by myself Lee works all day today at the hospital so like who cares um but I want to see like the different looks that I can create basically so or at least try to um, different looks that I want to try to Ugh. there are two that I would like to create so that's what we're doing today I have my coffee and my Dega mug that I love and we're ready to just kind of shift these grumpies into hopefully some playful creativity I have already prepped my skin, so I did my full skincare routine, my full morning skincare routine this morning, and then um, I just, right, right before sitting down, applied a little bit more of my eye cream because my, I'm really tired, so that kind of helps plump the uh, fine lines I'm rocking, and I just spritzed myself with some of the Caudalie grape water to kind of read moisturize my skin without being too heavy so because weirdly enough it's not painfully dry today so anyway enough of my yibber yabbering i don't think that's a word but let's give these things a try i'm gonna do my eyes first because i'm afraid it'll take my face makeup off but i don't know I don't know. I've like now I don't I didn't watch any tutorials. These didn't come with instructions. I'm just freaking winging it today. So we're gonna see what happens. Yeah, let's let's do this. Okay, so you can peel off two different parts. I don't know if I'm gonna un like use the full sticker. I don't know if I want to do that. Too big for my face. <laughs> mm, that's annoying. Okay. Oh, and I have to like remove it from its good placement. I hope that didn't mess it up. I'm just gonna chop that chunk off because it's too big for my face. So we'll see. I'm trying to do, I wanna do like a super clean eyeshadow and eyeliner look like very but like kind of yeah so I'm trying to get a really sharp line on this side okay and then I just did an undersuit you can see where I placed that And then I guess I am going to do I'm being like very uncoordinated. I'm being kind of awkward with these. Mm, get it together, Sergeant. Oh my okay. Cool. This is going to like suck up all that lovely eye cream that I just put on. Ooh, it's not very comfortable. When has I tape me makeup tape ever been comfortable? Okay, and then on this side I want to do like uh, eyeshadow liner. So I'm gonna try to do like a more like a longer liner, and I am making sure to go underneath my lower lashes because I don't want those to get caught up in all of this. These things are ginormous. Do I have a small face or something? These are ginormous, like it's in my hair. Okay, well, I have them on, so let's, and they're very uncomfortable. Let's try this out. Let's do it. 
I'm gonna start by just evening out the color, like the skin tone on my eyelids. I, I want a tinted primer. I know I should be using eyeshadow primer or eye primer or whatever, but right now, right now I'm using shape tape because I don't like it as a concealer, but it works. It seems to work well for me for the most part when I use it like this. And I just take like a flat brush and kind of blend it out. I probably should have done this before I put the tape on, I'm realizing at this exact moment. But like you live and learn. <laughs> I'm kind of new to the whole eyes before face makeup. I always just did my face makeup first, my base or whatever. And like I'm trying to be more aware of not ruining that with my eye makeup because I'm just used to a different routine and it's hard to shift. It's I feel like awkward doing my eyes first. Okay, so now that that's ready, I'm gonna try this Fenty Beauty number six. I don't love these palettes. I have two of them. I have the six and the seven. And I they're not my favorite, but I think it might work for what I want to do. We'll see. All right, so I want to do like a black, like wing. Gosh, that was hard to say. With kind of a shimmer bright sparkle pop coming in so i'm going to try to do that and i so this this palette has a black as well as this like pretty shimmery sparkle that i think it would work well so i'm going to go ahead and use this i'm going to start with this shade up here as a transition color it's pretty friggin dark it's probably the darkest transition shade i've ever used but we're gonna just give it a whirl See what happens. I need to flip my mirror. Oh my gosh. Why do I keep knocking it over? What is going on with me? Get it together. See, sheesh. Ooh, okay, hey, that's dark. Yeah, this isn't really a transition shade at all. <gasps> and I kind of just threw off my whole plan, but that's okay. It ain't over till it's over. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's see. That wasn't ideal, but that's okay. Alright, I'm taking my little itty bitty Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in black, and I'm just going to kind of carve out the shape of what I want. By the way, there's an adorable cuddle session happening on my bed behind me. Yeah, I'll insert a little clip for y'all to see because it's so they're they're so cute. These two love each other so much. Okay, so then I'm just taking this kind of like flat dense brush. I'm gonna smudge out this eyeliner that I just applied and I hold on to my face because of my tremors my eyelids kind of are always spasming they're never still like if my eyes are closed my eyelids are constantly moving so I have to kind of hold them still so that I can blend that's why I do that. So you don't need to be holding your face as much as I do, but I have to hold my face because it does, it literally is always vibrating. So I am now going to take this little round dense butt brush and pack in the black shadow. This is shade that deep in the number six snap shadow. I think that's what which one it is, yeah. Okay. 
And I am just going to pack that in. Really make this a nice, deep, dark, rich black. Like that's what I'm going for. It's just a really pretty, nice, solid black. And I feel like I remember that these were kind of hard to blend and they were not very, um, they didn't have a huge amount of color payout. So yeah, I'm remembering why I don't love this palette and like why I never freaking use it. Oh, I got the shakies today. I know I'm being a giant hypocrite when I'm complaining about anxiety and tremors while drinking caffeine. I understand the hypocrisy but humans are complex. I am who I am. This is my truth. Oh, my eyes are like so annoyed with me right now. Wow, this is gonna take freaking ever, this eyeliner, or this is not, this isn't going how I wanted it to. This eyeshadow kind of sucks, but I don't have another black one. I forgot that I didn't like it. Gasp, am I gonna be adding this to the get rid of it pile? Maybe. Oh my god, what am I even doing? I will say, even though this look is not coming out even a little bit how I wanted it to, like, what is happening on my face? I don't know. The tape is really nice because I can just kind of like whatever and I don't have to worry about making a mess. That's really nice. I do like that about this. So I ended up using this black from this like I don't even know how old this palette is I probably shouldn't use it but it still works so I don't want to throw it away um because the Fenty number no. seven little whatever pocket bullshit that one didn't work at all <laughs> that one stunk so no thank you pass next bye okay and then for the shimmer i'm gonna use the anastasia beverly hills what is this the cosmos palette i'm gonna use the mercury and i'm gonna use, try applying it with just my finger oh my god yeah that's so pretty i can't even do you see how gorgeous that is can y'all see this palette this palette is one that I should reach for more often because every time I use it, I'm like, holy crap, it's so pretty. Every freaking time. All right, and then I'm just going to blend a little. Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and tight line. Up. I'm not doing any other liner on my actual eye. Okay, and then I'm going to use the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. I don't really like this mascara, but it is a good... I like the brush. <laughs> finish up my brows and my mascara and then we will take this off together and see what my final results are for I look one okay so I am going to start at this end and I'm gonna go ahead and remove this uh, tape and see if it worked ooh pretty oh my gosh I really like that I think that turned out quite pretty. Yay! Okay. All right, my loves. So we are gonna go ahead and dive into I look number two using this tape. 
And this is going to be a completely different look. I love how the first one turned out, actually. I am very happy with the results. I think it's so cute. And if I had practice, definitely would be like a fast, fun, easy date night look. Or like going out look or I want to feel pretty look. It's a good one. Okay, so now I am going to come in with sort of just like similar shade to like my bronzer actually. I'm just going to bring in, create a little bit of depth in the socket of the eye, just bringing this in to create shape, a little depth in the eye because we're going to be doing just one solid bold liner. And so I don't want a lot of eyeshadow. I want the eyeliner to be the main focus. I just really like to build a little bit of dimension in my eye. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm just going back and forth and build slowly. Um, I'm going back and forth in little circles. I, sorry, I like interrupted myself. And just make sure you're moving really slowly, build up slowly, because you can always add, but you can't take away. Okay. And then I'm going to come in with this shade, which is just a super light one. It's um, kind of just go, ugh, I got tongue tight. I'm applying this one to my lid. Oh, it's more shimmery than I realized. But again, <laughs> it's a very different shade than I was expecting. Um, but I'm just laying down a little bit of a base so my eye doesn't look totally boring before I do the liner. So cool. I just have a simple, yeah, natural, pretty eye. And then okay, now it's time for the fun part. So I have I use this. Mehiran mixing liquid. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, I bought it to actually re try to rehydrate some of my gel liners because I live in a super dry climate. So gel liners last like two months for me and then they're dried up. Great. Love it. So I took a shade. This is Conjure Up pressed powder from I think Colourpop. I'm not sure, but I didn't really like the way that it went on as an eyeshadow, so I have been using this. And I just take an eyedropper, so shake this a little bit, and then it's so easy and so freaking fun. So I literally just drip into, that's like literally three drops. I'm taking a, like a liner brush and I just mix it in. But I've created like my own little mini temporary eyeliner. So like, I, it's only eyeliner until it dries. So I'm hoping this can make it to where I can do a big bold wing super fast and super easy. So I have, Loaded up my liner brush with that green and I am going to just come in and Draw exactly I'm just drawing exactly where I want my wing to be, but I'm not having to stress about whether or not Um, it's going to be a clean line. So this is very similar to what I normally do, but I want to kind of turn up the volume and go a little bolder. So now I'm just like really filling in this liner. It's already kind of starting to dry. I do have to work quickly-ish because again, I live in an incredibly dry climate. 
I'm gonna add one more drop. It is really nice to just be able to like casually paint it on. I'm excited to I'm excited to see how it turns out. So Okay, I am going to let this dry down a little bit. While this is drying, I'm going to put on mascara. I do really like how easy it is to put my mascara on my bottom lashes. Like, on my bottom lashes, it's so easy with this. Gorgeous! Alright, let, let us see how this turned out. I'm again going to come from this side. Okay, it's cute. I don't, it's not completely clean. I can see where it like bled through, so that's good for me to know that it can bleed through if I'm not careful. I don't like this look as much as the other one. Let me see if I can clean it up a little. Yeah, no, I don't love it. It just, it, it, it's not quite the right angle. It's not quite the right shape. It's a little messy, so I don't love this one. I was definitely expecting it to be a little bit cleaner, so okay. But this one I freaking love. I think that's such a cute look. You could do a lot of different sh like shadows. Um, there's a lot of different things you could do to with the same technique and it turned out really well. So that's good for me to know. Um, and I just think that maybe the uh, li liquefying whatever, it was just too liquidy. How many times can I say that word? I'm not fully sure. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> it's not what I was hoping for. And now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna fiddle with it until it's like a complete and utter mess. Uh, actually, that helped. <laughs> okay. Leave it. Walk away. Just do your face makeup. Oh my god. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and do my face, the rest of my makeup really quick. You guys don't need to see that, and then I will be back. Hi, loves. Okay, so I have done most of my face makeup, the rest of my makeup. I don't love how my face turned out today, but that's okay. My skin's just really dry. So I am taking a tiny flat brush and just adding a little bit more of this mercury shade from the cosmos palette the silvery one and i'm just really filling in around my eye as well as like right underneath and i did apply a black liner to my waterline so yeah i just wanted to do a little bit of lip something on my lips. I'm not sure what to do. So I'm going to go ahead and keep my lips super simple. I'm going to use the Dominique Cosmetics Pillow Soft Hydrating Stain, I think it's called, whatever, um, in the Pink Dreams. Okay, so here are my final looks. And we're looking at the eyes, not the face makeup. <laughs> um, I really like how this one turned out. I definitely will be repeating this look because it was so simple and I like the shape of it and everything. In terms of the eyeliner, it's just not quite the right shape for what I wanted. Um, Meh, but that's okay because this is one that I freehand 
and don't have too much of trouble with so it's not the end of the world but overall i'm really pleased with those product like with that product i like it i'll definitely use them again yay and now i'm gonna spend the rest of my day looking silly with two completely different eye looks but that's okay <laughs> Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and to just kind of play and explore with me. If you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Um, and if you don't know what to say, just leave your favorite emoji or something like that. Alrighty, thank you all so much. And as always, please remember to be kind to yourself, to be kind to others, to spread love, not hate and to hold compassion before judgment. Wherever you are in this big, beautiful world of ours, I hope that you are doing well and that you have the best possible rest of your day or night. I look forward to playing with you again soon. Sending y'all endless love. Bye.